Let's head back over to the Storm Alert Center. Chief Meteorologist David Carnes getting ready to tell us about the weekend as we're on the verge. David? Yeah, beautiful uh, start to fall. Friday is going to be awesome. The weekend is going to be good, but we can't rule out a couple of showers, maybe on Saturday or Sunday. It's not going to be a washout. Iron Man's going to be fine. Anything you have planned, I think you're going to be okay. And it is going to feel nice to the weekend. We'll just have a little more cloud cover, maybe a sprinkle or two. So it is finally fall, 9.04 p.m. You can ring the bell, get out the hay bales, the pumpkins, the scarecrows, and the pumpkin spice, and go crazy. Cooler and breezy on Friday in the wake of this front, bringing in some nice fall air. A second front is going to move through this weekend. That's where we'll get some clouds, maybe a couple of sprinkles, and then another burst of cool air. So we'll go into all of that here in just a moment. Let's get you caught up on the tropics just quickly. Gaston is out there just so you don't wonder what happened to the G name, but it is not going to impact anyone. It's looking uh, okay. 84 degrees Chattanooga right now. It is 82 in Cleveland, 82 in Dayton, and it is just feeling really, really good outside. Now, this is the system that we're really looking at in terms of the tropics that could be an issue for the Gulf of Mexico and even the United States uh, coming up in the next week. This is probably going to be called uh, Hermine. Now, there's an 80 to 90 percent chance that this is going to be developing into a tropical system over the next five days. Conditions not that favorable right this second. Upper level winds really keeping it from developing and getting that organized. But as it continues to drift westward, it will move into much more favorable areas for development. And you can see all of the model data is really coming into consistency now, taking this system and strengthening it as it moves into the Western Caribbean. Where does it go after that? Most of the model data suggests by the middle of next week, uh, we're looking at this moving into the central or eastern Gulf of Mexico. I will say still six days out with it, we've got a wide, wide variation here, but a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico next week is a better, uh, a more likely than not scenario. So it's something we need to, on the back of our minds, start thinking about and looking at. 86, the high in North Chattanooga got up to 89 in Red Bank. Did anybody get in the 90s? Somerville, yes, 94. How about that? 86 in Ringgold and 85 in Cleveland. We hit 89 in Delano and Turtle Town. We did have some showers east of town. Uh, two tenths of an inch of rain falling in Turtle Town. Unaka got up to 86 and 84 in 10 Mile. Tomorrow, Oh, nice and cool, but ahead of our next front, we'll warm it up a little bit. It's 83 on Saturday, 82 Sunday, and then as that front passes through, we're back down into the 70s and mid 70s Wednesday and Thursday, 83 the average high. So there is the moisture levels. You can see them taking that dive tomorrow. It's going to feel so good. They'll creep back up over the weekend ahead of the next front and then right back down as that next front moves on through. So here's front number one pushing off to the east, taking that moisture with it. Future cast showing uh, as we move on into our Friday, mostly sunny skies. The next front, maybe a sprinkle or two on Saturday. Can't rule out one or two on Sunday. And then here comes that next big burst of nice, cool, dry air. So it looks like this on our storm alert seven day forecast. Uh, we're going to see if I push the right button, uh, the temperature dropping down into the 70s tomorrow, uh, low 80s over the weekend, and then we'll hover in the 70s all next week. Those clouds Wednesday and Thursday, by the way, putting those on just in case we're watching the tropics. That system we were talking about a moment ago, Greg, could bring us some clouds toward the middle and end of next week.